Chernobyl disaster, accident in 1986 at the Chernobyl nuclear power station in the Soviet Union. It's been more than 34 years since the Chernobyl disaster, the worst nuclear power plant accident in history. The incident was catastrophic, leaving a swath of Ukraine a radioactive no-go zone till now. In this video, let's see what actually happened to Chernobyl. The content of this video is purely based on our internet research. Come on, let's get started. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant was built between 1970 and 1983 and located in the then Soviet controlled Ukraine, 68 miles north of Kiev. The plant contained four nuclear reactors by the time of the disaster, while the construction of two more reactors was planned. Nuclear power plants do the same job as other power plants, generating energy used to create electrical power. But they do so by harnessing nuclear fission, which occurs when the nuclei of atoms of elements like uranium are split, releasing large amounts of energy. Among the communities nearest the plant were the city that gave it its name, Chernobyl, home to around 14,000. But there were so many people employed by the plant that a community called Pripyat was founded in 1970 specifically to house the nuclear plant's workers and their families. Home to 50,000 people, Pripyat, like any city, contained schools, factories, movie theaters, and hospitals. How did the Chernobyl explosion happen? On April 26, 1986, at 1.23 a.m., Chernobyl's engineers disabled some of the reactor's safety features while it was still running, as part of a safety test. A combination of human error and design flaws lead to a fire and then an explosion that blew the lid off of reactor number 4, exposing the nuclear core and releasing into the atmosphere 400 times more radiation than was emitted when American forces dropped the atom bomb on Hiroshima during World War II. It wasn't until 5 a.m. the following day that reactor number 3 was shut down. Some 24 hours later, reactors number 1 and 2 were also shut down. In an attempt to stop the flames and spread of radiation, helicopters dropped sand, radiation blocking lead and neutron absorbent boron onto the reactor. Still, it burned for 10 days, spreading radioactive ash and smog. The explosion killed two plant workers, while 28 engineers and firefighters died of acute radiation syndrome in the weeks following the disaster. There were 600 people working on site during the explosion, and 134 in total were sickened with acute radiation poisoning. The first responders and plant personnel who didn't survive had agonizing deaths, suffering vomiting and diarrhea, severe, full body burns, and eventual organ failure. Meanwhile, life went on as usual for almost a day in the neighboring town of Pripyat. Aside from the sight of trucks cleaning the streets with foam, there were initially few signs of the disaster unfolding just miles away. It wasn't until the next day, April 27, when the government began evacuations of Pripyat's 50,000 residents. Residents were told they would be away for just a few days, so they took very little with them. Most would never return to their homes. Reports of long-term health effects from Chernobyl vary, but the disaster contaminated an area inhabited by millions. Though experts debate the long-term death toll, the UN put the number at 4,000. While Greenpeace has estimated 93,000, it's been linked to thousands of cases of thyroid cancer. Increased rates of leukemia among those who worked at the site after the explosion, as well as anxiety and mental health problems among those who lived near the site. The Chernobyl disaster had other fallout, the economic and political toll hastened the end of the USSR, and fueled a global anti-nuclear movement. The disaster has been estimated to cost some $235 billion in damages. At the height of disaster response efforts, in 1991, 
Belarus spent 22% of its total budget dealing with Chernobyl. Humans, on the other hand, aren't expected to repopulate the area anytime soon. Ukrainian authorities have said it will not be safe for people to live in the Chernobyl exclusion zone for more than 24,000 years. Today tourists can visit the site, which appears frozen in time, apart from signs of looting, natural weathering and the encroachment of nature. But Chernobyl remains one of the most dangerous places in the world to visit. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. We hope you liked it. Do let us know what you want to see next in the comment section below. And we'll soon have it we will upload in this channel.